I haven't spotted one yet in this flower plant, but we know the spotted lanternfly is returning to our area this spring in much larger numbers with many counties under quarantine, including Baltimore City. The insect is invasive. It's considered a threat to crops, fruits, trees. This morning, certified arborist Lou Meyer is sharing with us what to do if we find one. My uh, sister-in-law told me you kill it immediately. Is that the right answer? That's absolutely the right answer. Yes, kill it and report it to the Maryland Extension Agency. So on the Maryland Extension Agency website, you could find a uh, reporting hotline. They want to keep track of what's going on. Uh, they, they keep track of all the trees in our area. So great, great resource there. I know the first time I saw one was last year. It was a beautiful red, almost looked like a ladybug in a moth version. That is not a good thing to see, though. I remember thinking how beautiful. No, they're spectacular. Right now, we're seeing them in the nymph stage, which is kind of the babies. And they're yeah. this gorgeous red with black spots. And they're going to have about four um, cycles of that. And then they, they, they molt into adults later in the fall and the adults are really pretty but yeah as you said they're they're just destructive and frankly they're kind of gross they they drop uh, sweet honeydew all over anything underneath them and that attracts sooty mold so if you have an infested tree over your car or your patio you're gonna have a black sooty mold covering everywhere that's what I was gonna ask you what do we do if we have an infestation do you just burn them down well, yeah, there are treatments that you could use. Uh, certified arborists can use and, and licensed pesticide applicators can use specific products to address them directly. Homeowners can use traps to kind of trap them and control really? it somewhat. Okay. The, the bottom line, though, is that we're not going to stop this. We can slow it. Uh, this is something that I would recommend getting more used to for a few years. If you're outside, where do they like to hide on a tree like this? Are they in the soil? Or are they in the leaves? Or are they everywhere? They're all over the bark of the tree. So okay. the way they the way they damage the tree and the way they feed is they pierce the tree, they drink the sugars that the tree is creating, and then they're excreting that. That's causing the damage to the trees, and that's where you're going to find them, up and down the bark. A heavily infested tree, when you look at it, it looks like the bark's alive, just covered with these bugs. This one looks good. And I, ha I was looking over here on this tree. I think that one looks good as well. When you see them, I tried to kill one last year, and it jumped loose. I mean, 20 feet in front of me. Is that normal? Yeah, they're 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 very uh, they're very good hoppers. Yeah, yeah. so they jump far. Um, really, just try and control them right now when they're before they emerge from their egg masses. It's a good time to scrape the egg masses off the trees. What do the egg masses look like? Uh, they're these little gray or brown blotches on the side. Unfortunately, they look a lot like the lichen that you see on trees, and they they kind of blend in. We mentioned earlier as we're looking here in Baltimore City. I don't see anything. Baltimore City's under quarantine, though. What does that mean? Right, so it hasn't emerged in big numbers yet. The, the pest really travels by vehicle, so tractor trailers and RVs, okay. trains, things that sit for a long time that allow the females to lay their eggs and then move elsewhere. So we're seeing it move more into the region. And they like warm weather. They love warm weather. Oh, this, no. this mild winter has not been favorable uh -huh. to controlling their numbers, but we're seeing them um, you know, every year we've said, oh, this is going to be the next big year. Right. This is really going to be the year. All right. And unfortunately, we're seeing a lot nicer weather, which should be a good thing. Meteorologist Justin Chambers, we're going to bring him into this conversation. It's just not good when it comes to the spot and lantern fly. I, well, just like, you know, us, we like to be outside, right, when it's warm. And that's exactly what's going on.